Okay. So while I'm sitting here waiting for an authorization, an advance authorization to go through to pay a lumper, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a video about how to fill out one of these checks. Uh, my pro my last company went through Comdata, so I'll go over that one real quick since I still have a spare com some spare com checks. Uh, and my current company uses EFS, so I'm really going to go over this company. These are the only two I've found so far. I guarantee there's at least one more company out there. Because there's there's no way there's only two. No way. Economics says a whole lot about... that. Yeah, there's just not. So, uh, we're going to start with Comdata here. Arguably the more arguably the simpler of the two. Uh... And really, it fills out just as just the same as any other check for the first half. You have your uh, pay to the order of line. That's the same as any other regular check. So you put the name of the lumper company there. Date you date it. Then fill out the sum in words and number form. Then down below, that's where it gets a little more interesting. This is where it's no longer your regular check, and that now it's actually a and it's actually a draft. So. Here you put your card number or your express code number. Uh, personally, I always use my card number because that's what I had on hand. And uh, there's a box for your phone for your phone number, but usually you leave that blank. Then on the bottom line, you put your license number and state it was issued in. Then you can then there's a you either call this phone number or you can go in the Com Data app and authorized to check that way and what it does uh, it what that does is that turns it from a draft to an actual check and then you give it to the lumper and uh, th they cash it they and actually company that's your company name who you drive for and authorization number that is what the lumper will get when they call it to, to uh when they call the number to uh actually get the money real quick on the efs check it's pretty similar to a com check honestly i prefer the com check it was more straightforward in my opinion uh, because each box was exactly what it said of what it said it was now as far as the efs check goes it's exactly the same uh, for, it's exactly the same minus a couple of boxes. So, name of the lumper company, the amount the check is for in word and number form, your license number and state that it was issued in, money code. This is this gets me every time. Money code is your card number, your entire card number, both freaking lines of it. It's a really long number on the EF, for EFS. I'm not going to show mine because reasons, and actually the reason I'm doing this with this, excuse me, the reason I'm doing this with a blank check instead of the one I already have filled out is because I already have it all filled out except for the authorization code. So I'm not going to leak my license number to the world, or my card number for that matter. And then over here, you go into, then over here you go into the app or call the phone number, or there's a website you can go to. And uh, authorize the check number, and in 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 both in both cases for both com data for both com checks and EFS checks, authorization is literally the check number, the amount that it's and the amount that it's for. I can't remember if com data requires the. Uh, no, com data was the same as EFS in that department, so. And so here's here's a big difference for com data. You don't fill that box in. The lumper does. For EFS, you fill that box in. You get it from the app when you re when you uh, when you register the check. And of course, in both cases, these are considered check drafts. They're not they're not uh, checks until you authorize them. At which point they carry the value that is shown on face. <laughs> 